were back here at the gondolas. I'm gonna take him up really high, try to choke him off from oxygen. Hopefully we're gonna break the 14,500 level. Maybe push it to 15 if she'll let us. Race mom doesn't wanna stress herself. Okay, so we just crossed like 12,200 and you can see how the vegetation is green there and then it stops. So we're right there. It's at 12,000. Let's see, where are we? 12,300. No trees. Here we are again. There's actually a view today. Alright, so it's 11.09 a.m. Clear skies. We are fully loaded. Starting our climb and go as high as we can go. Making it back up. This is where we got food. We're going to wait to get food on the way down. And that's going to be our little surprise. Beautiful horses. They're ready to go on a ride. All right, 41.77 meters. On one side, a sprawling city. As Dirk said earlier, you turn around and it looks like Mordor. We are going up into some very high mountains. Dirk just pointed out a second ago, we were crossing 14,000 feet. My altimeter is actually saying 14,200. They they're all a little off, just a tiny bit. Basically higher than any mountain in the lower 48. The views here are just unbelievable in every direction. Follow the trail, those people, it drops. Okay, we're right around 14,500 according to my watch. Vegetation changed quite a bit. These bushes popped up. They have really interesting flowers, like... We're just kind of cruising along on the spine. Heading up to Mordor. <laughs> Look at them climbing. We are so glad we have hiking poles. So we are at the split in the trail where... If you go this route, it's a complete boulder scramble rock climb to the top. We're gonna stay on the right side. Kind of skirt the really rocky section. But it should be really, really pretty views. And hopefully it'll let us get up to 15,000. We're starting to have the discussion on when do we turn back. I'm hoping we just go as far as we can because this is just unbelievably beautiful. The trail has some consequences. Okay, so here's the trails we just came basically right along this and then we are now at 45 31 meters and we have got we're trying to get up way up there and i guess it's another maybe thousand feet all right we are somewhere in the 15 what 1550 15 so somewhere just above 15. clown bank moved in andrea how are you feeling a little headache as with more energy, whatever more energy it takes, the headache like has a little flash of. <laughs> Dirk, what about you? Okay. Tired. Tired. The meat plate. Yes, we have. Thinking about the empanadas. Some tons of empanadas and carnitas. So good. You were at sea level yesterday morning. Yeah. So checked off the box. Cloud bank rolling in. Going to be thoughtful about our descent. We're close on because we're not gonna be going down. No. So we'll stop we right on the trail. We gotta cross those two squatchy the two squatchy ports down there. And we are gonna have to navigate because we are not we do not have much trail. We are gonna have to remember where we were. We made it to the spine. We are now viewing the other side of the mountain. Cloud banks hitting us from the side we came, but this other side pretty open. The other climber just said that the summit is just right up there. It takes about 20 minutes to get to the top. He's recommending we do it because we're close enough. I might have a mutiny though. Team wants to go down. We were getting close up there to the summit but it was another 30 minutes. It was a, we're in a white out and it was kind of a boulder scramble and uh definitely started to get cold so especially since brian just got here 
Uh, we just decided it's probably smarter just to turn around and start heading back. Uh, it's got windy. And of course, since we're not using much effort going downhill, it got cold. So we put on the rain jackets and the thicker gloves, but everything feels great. I must be invisible. No one knows me. I have crawled down dead in the streets on my hands and all right, so we're along the trail, which was pretty exposed, but we found this cool little spot. So we are testing out the tent and the Bakhti bag so that everybody's familiar with how both of them work. Four corners. Hold Four the, corners are stuck. Tent down, two poles, and just hold up the center. Flag comes over the top. So you do need dirt. Like you wouldn't be able to yeah, set this up on no. rock. Rock, you're, you're, you're effed. You're effed. Well, you could. You could do like enough. the bot. You could just lean against the back and use your poles, and the one person sits on each side. Yeah, and there's but there's enough uh, rope that you could tie off the of rocks or something. How'd yours work out? Did you stab the stakes in the ground? Do we need the uh, feather, what? Feather, Did you stab the stakes in the ground? Yeah, it'll be good when yep. we get in there. Okay, so we're inside the bothy. Andrea looks comfy. We used our tent stakes sideways. We have the bag is kind of leaning against the edge. I think these are our, these are air holes. Oh, no. I'm leaning my back against. I'm just sitting on the black part. Some, if it was raining, my butt wouldn't get wet. And my back is. I think that's the better thing with the tent is there's a less likely chance they'll be wet. How's it going, Dirk? Chair to the camera. Hi, guys. <laughs> nice and tight. Nice and tight. <laughs> tent practice. Those aren't pillows, Dirk. <laughs> good to go all right good practice so this was actually a great simulation it was totally clouds cold and windy and we hunkered down in the tent and the bothy and now the clouds are basically gone the wind stopped and the sun's coming back out great simulation for venture race survival we're still around 14,800 or so. We're just traversing this side of the mountain. You see little splotches of sun and stuff, but other than that, the clouds are just kind of blowing up at us. We're still above 14,000 feet, probably around 14,2. But it's starting to clear up. The clouds are going away. And we can start seeing the city, and we're, we're, you can see the cloud bank. We are below the clouds, but if you turn around, you can see where the clouds just engulfed where we were. So that's like where we were camping or, you know, testing the Bothy and everything. So that summit is just... And we are looking forward to eating a ton of food when we get to the little hut. That church down there, that right next to that church is where we're going to be eating food. So we still got to drop down like another thousand. Alrighty, we're breaking through 4177 meters. Sun's come out, clouds are gone. You can smell the food. Just a beautiful day. So here we are, we made it back to the bottom. And we got more of this, which is like a whole meat plate and it's gonna have corn and beans and all kinds of meats. There's sausage and pollo or chicken, there's beef. There may not be any shrimp. I don't think they have shrimp. And then they also have some, uh, I think it's only $6 too. Pretty lot of, I think that's what it is. So, this is it. I think this cute little hut. And today, it's nice enough that we can eat outside. So we have this beautiful view of the mountain we just climbed all the way up there. Got llamas hanging out. Adventure racing. It's all pain and trouble. Pain and trouble. Sometimes it's fun. Yes. So unlike the other day, we have the complete view. We made it on our hike. Everybody's happy. Yeah, we're good. We just ate a ton of food and we are ready to jump on the gondolas and head back down into Quito. Yeah.